What's going on my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here and welcome into a nice little video that I'm really excited about because most people don't know how useful and how easy mental math can make your life. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through these questions here and then another set of questions, giving you some time to go ahead and try it out on your own. The goal is to be able to look at the problem and be able to do it within two seconds without writing anything down. If you do need to write down, you wanna write down as little as possible because remember the ASVAB, it's timed, it's timed. And so therefore the less time you take setting up a problem or writing things down or even calculating, the better for you. So let's go ahead and get started right here, my party people. And as always, if you wanna join a free class, you know how to do it, go ahead and text us right there or check out the website. We have a free class once a week on Zoom, two hours each. And on top of that, we have a free practice test with video solutions for every single one. So again, it's all free, help yourself out, raise your score and get that job you want. So let me get my ugly face out of the way and let's get started. So let's zoom on in here to the first one. 13 multiplied by seven. So what do I mean when I say split and glue? Well, here it is my party people. The way that we can think about this is, well, hey, 13 is the same thing as 10 and three. It's the same exact thing. So instead of trying to multiply seven by 13 right there all at once, instead we can go ahead and do seven times 10 and then seven times three. That's what split and glue means. So instead of having to write it down and try to figure it out, you can say, hey, look, seven times 10, that's gonna be 70. And again, this is in your head. And then seven times three, hey, that's gonna be 21. So in your head, you can think about 13 times seven as just being 70 plus 21, which is gonna be 91. And there you go. So again, instead of having to just do this, 13 times seven, write it all down, by the time you're done actually writing just the setup of this out, you can get to 91. Really, don't believe me? Okay, cool, let me go ahead and zoom, let me scroll on down here. 25 times nine, well, guess what that's gonna be? That's 180 plus 45, 225, done. Okay, how did I do that? How did that happen so quickly? Again, we're using what's called the distributive property. Ever heard of that? I'm sure you have. And we're distributing the nine into this digit, the 20, and then this digit, the five. Remember, this is not a two, that is a 20. So nine times 20, that's gonna be 180. And then nine times five, that's 45. So instead of trying to think about what 25 times nine is off the top of your head, you're thinking 180 plus 45, and from there, 18 plus four, that's 22. So 225. Again, even if the addition part right over here, even if the adding part is a little slow for you right now, don't worry. You are going to get faster as long as you keep trying. Mental math is not something that you just, oh yeah, I get it, and then you master it. No, you have to practice. And that's why we're gonna go over another question and another question and another question. I've got your back, my party people, again. We have got to make repetition part of that process. So here, 28 multiplied by three. How does this work again? Well, again, my party people, you can split the 28 up into 20 and eight. You can multiply each of them by three. And again, this is going on in your head. So this essentially turns into 60 plus 24. 60 plus 24, what will that be? 84. So how about up next? What about this? 14 times 11, that seems a little crazy. We got two digits, which one do we split, coach? Well, here's the thing. We can just go ahead and say, we have 14 multiplied by 10 and one. That's pretty easy, right? What's 14 times 10? 140. What's 14 times one? 14, add that together, 154. Again, I'm only writing this down because I want you to see how I'm thinking but in reality, for the next four questions, I'm gonna show you how you should be thinking and reading going all the way through. Watch this. 79 times two. 70 times two, 140. Nine times two, 18. 140 plus 18, 158. Done. Again, that's how it's gonna happen in your head. That's all you need. Let's go up here, because I missed this one. So 57 times six. So 50 times six, 300. Seven times six, 42. 342. Done. That's it right there. That's really it. 
you're splitting one of the numbers up. Excuse me there. You're splitting one of the numbers up into, there it is, into two easier numbers. So here, the 28 times 8, I would split the 28 into 20 and 8. So 8 times 20, 160. 8 times 8, 64. 160 plus 64, 224. Done. That's what this is all about, my party people. Giving yourself an opportunity to save as much time as possible, be more confident in how you do things, and overall, qualify for that job that you're going for. Again, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. So here, 46 multiplied by 7. So 40 times 7, 280. 6 times 7, 42. So what will this be? That's 280 plus 42. That's going to be 322. Again, my party people. It's all about being able to do the mental math quickly and confidently. Does this mean you'll never make a mistake again? No, not at all. It just means that you'll make less mistakes. You'll take less time and you'll be more confident. So let's go ahead and try these next eight. I'm going to give you a chance here. I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's do it here. So 36 times 12. I would treat this as 36 times 10, 360. 36 times 2, 72. 360 plus 72 is 432. That's how I would treat it. Again, I'm going to keep this one the same, but I'm going to split the 12. Split the 12 into 10 and 2. Because anything times 10, we know that it's going to be pretty easy, right? Oh, for sure. Boom, we got that. 360, 72, 432. Here we go. 24 times 9. I'll give you 5, 4, 3, 2, Let's try this one out, 24 times nine. Well, that's gonna be 180 plus what? Plus 36, and that'll be 216. Up here, 78 times three. Okay, 78 times three, that's gonna be 210, 24, 234. Up next, 15 times 15. Well, that's a little weird, right? Well, here's the thing, we can split this up into 15 times, and then that's going to be 10 and 5. Let's try that out. 15 times 10, again, in our heads, would be 150. Then 15 times 5, oh no, what's that going to be? Well, 15 times 5, that's just going to be 10 times 5 and 5 times 5. 50 and 25, and we have 225. And again, practicing doing all of this in your head is the point. Let's go ahead and go to the last four here. So over here, 118 times six, what do we have? Well, 660 plus 48. 660 plus 48 is 708. So notice you can split across three digits if you want to. 100 times six, 600. 10 times six is 60, so 660. Plus the 48, plus 40 is 700, plus the eight, is 708. I'm giving you that chance, my party people. We got this. So 184 times 2. You can even do this, my party people. You can even say 18 or 180 and 4. What's 18 times 2? 36. So that would be 360. 4 times 2 is 8. 368. Again, my party people, this is mental math. It is worth learning. Even if this seems confusing now, rewatch the video. This is absolutely worth it. 68 times 8. Well, 60 times 8, 480, plus 64. So 480 plus 64 is 544. And I believe this is the last one. Yep, go ahead and try it out. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So we have 90 times 7, 630. 4 times 7 is 28. So that's going to be 658. And there you go. That's how you get it done, my math party people. As always, it's always about the work that you're willing to put in. It's not about luck or getting the right questions or the easiest questions. No, it's about putting yourself in a position to succeed and show your confidence. So again, my party people, go ahead, text us if you have any questions at all. You know where to reach us right there, text only. Ask us if you need help to raise your score. Ask us if you wanna join a free class. Ask us about the full program. But either way, we're excited to help you raise your scores and get the job you want, my party people. I'm Coach Anderson. Peace out. I love y'all. See you next time.